Resource management is all about balancing the capacity and demand of people so that you don't have benched or overloaded resources, thereby ensuring full resource utilization. The Resource Load View is the one-stop shop for your resource management needs. It provides a fully interactive and updatable reporting tool that allows you to simulate load by quickly filtering work items in and out, view loads by individual resources or groups, drag and drop to reassign tasks and projects, and view the full project plan. It's a true work tool that aids in the balance and management of your resources and helps you understand what your team has the capacity to work on and when. Let's get started by viewing the load on people in the development team by accessing user groups, selecting the group, and clicking on resource load. This view displays the load in hours based on the planned work for all the people in the development team over the next 12 months. Displaying the total load on the group, a breakdown for each individual person within it, and a further breakdown of their projects and tasks. The orange indication on the group level lets you know that at least one person is overloaded. You can see the overloaded time frame is colored in red, allowing you to quickly identify and mitigate any issues. The resource load is fully interactive, allowing you to view and update fields on the work item or a resource, easily reassign tasks, and even simulate loads on people by including or excluding work items. For example, you can see that Lori is overloaded. Let's see what her load will be if we remove this specific task from her. Simply click on the Include Exclude icon to remove a specific task or an entire project. You can see that the task has now been removed and an indication on the project and user lets you know that a work item has been excluded from the load. You can further simulate the data in the resource load by filtering out additional work items using any field on the work item or user. Including the task back onto Lori shows you once again that she doesn't have the capacity to work on it. To reassign the task, simply drag and drop it onto a different team member and it will instantly free up some of Lori's time. Another way to manage the resource capacity is by rescheduling tasks. Let's select a project on Lori's plate, open the gear, and select Show Work Plan. You can now view the full project plan and easily adjust task scheduling, view dependencies, and much more, all directly from the resource load. The resource load also gives you the ability to pivot your view based on remaining efforts and availability. You can easily toggle between different view options by using the drop-downs at the top of the screen. Let's start by choosing Remaining Effort. When selecting Remaining Effort, the previous dates are not relevant, and all work items past due date that still have remaining effort are now shifted to today in order to show the remaining effort according to your organization's work policy. Switching to availability will show how underutilized a group or specific person is, allowing you to quickly analyze how much additional work, if any, you can add. You can also switch between hours, units, FTEs, and personal days to easily consume the data in the units best suited for you or your organization. The resource load can be opened from anywhere you see people, groups, or work items in Clarizen. For example, to see the load on people assigned to a specific project, simply open the resource load from the project itself. You can now view all the people with assigned tasks on this project and easily add any additional team members. You can also set the time interval, for example, to a daily, weekly, or monthly view, select the number of periods you'd like to see, and set the date range, all of which is done using the time range filter. The ribbon enables running actions on a selected work item, user, or group, and any custom actions you may have on these items can also be accessed directly in the resource load. All this ensures that you can view, manage, and update all the data you need to guarantee that your team is working at full capacity, all in one convenient location. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.